I just want to. We let haven't you know. done this in a minute. I know. It feels like forever. I feel like a dirtbag right now. I was a dirty stay out last night. I got home from work. This is my work attire. I didn't change. Well, like, I feel it. so gross. <laughs> I didn't shower when I got home. It was 2 a.m. I woke up this morning. I was like, time to go to work. And I just threw together the outfit. <laughs> and I, I'm i not proud of it. <laughs> but I'm here. I woke up in a very c-u-n-t-y mood i feel like off put because we didn't say welcome back to the young millennials podcast oh i just had to tell you that i feel like shit but i can say hello everyone welcome back to the young millennials podcast i'm lex here with my co-host billy it's billy bitch and i'm in a mood yeah (laughs) i I mean let's talk about it um well well, number one where the frig did you go last night or a fucking marina cafe. <laughs> I Loves hate it, it there. My fr- I wasn't I wasn't going to go out and my bestie who has been there for me through my rough times, she was like, "Lex, I had a bad day. I'm going to the marina." I said, "Okay, do you want me there?" She said, "Yep." Absolutely. I said, "Okay, I'll see you soon." <laughs> And I sucked it up. I wept internally. And is it like the last dinner. weekend or no? I would say next weekend. Okay. But Marina stays open even after Labor Day. It kind of oh, just stays okay. open seasonally, like as long as it's nice out. I think I've had so, that in my head because I think it's like the last weekend for Jersey Shore, perhaps. I don't know. No, next weekend, Labor Day. Oh, okay. Labor Day is the closeout. Got it. Um. So yeah, I was a good friend. I sucked it up, even though I worked all day. My body has been so exhausted because i just like threw myself back into work Mm -hmm. and i went out reluctantly but i said we're gonna have a good time put a smile on your face do the damn thing and events occurred not with me with my friend there was a little drama i'm not gonna air her stuff out but like we caught someone in a big fat lie and yeah i'll tell you off off camera but she got upset wanted to stay out and get wasted so guess who stayed out until two o'clock last night and i was just, by like midnight i was just like oh no this is i'm gonna pay for this tomorrow did you and do the, sure enough, the shaking to feel drunk oh no 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 this, i was too exhausted <laughs> i was so tired i was just sipping on my water i kind of figured it would um, be a, like okay because you're on la time ish or you're off that no <laughs> i i i i was gonna say i acclimatize i adjust very well <laughs> Um, especially when I take like the red eye flight and come back and oh, kind of right. like use that day to adjust. Mm-hmm. I'm so used to it now. I'm, I'm back in it. But, um, where was I? Oh, my friend had a coworker from work come and he was a cool dude. So I was just like chatting with him the whole night. Like he was actually like not a stereotypical Staten Islander. Like he had some substance to him and there was like levels. So we had great conversation. So I was chatting with him as my friend was doing her drunk girl things. Mm-hmm. Do your thing, girl. My new thing with this friend, I have to take her cell phone away when she gets drunk. Oh, no. To Is she texting help exes? Her. Well, she there, but... just makes poor decisions. Mm. And as someone's bestie, I don't want to see that happen in front of me. So I say, girl, hand it over. Not best. She does. Approved. She does. Good. Um, and then I'll check it throughout the night and make sure, you know, everything's good. But uh, it's I love that she like knows that's the deal now. She's like, take it take it away <laughs> um so yeah this morning i woke up because i stayed out so late i started getting a headache last night and i was like let me be grown i'll take two advils chug some water go to bed as if i was just drinking all night woke up the craziest headache i felt nauseous as if i just drank the whole night and i said what the fuck is this i gave up drinking because i didn't want to feel like this and now jokes on me i stay out late and i still feel like shit Plot twist. so I was in such a bitch ass mood this morning, Billy. You have no idea. I have a little I... idea from that lovely Snapchat story. Yeah, like the, I, I, I'm still like the voice note and the chat, a Snapchat story. Yeah, I want to punch things. I'm just such a mm, <laughs> not my day. I gotta take a nap. That's what I need. But I um, where do I where do I go from here? Let me think. My coffee was shit. I was going to ask you about that, but I didn't want to cut you off again. 
No, <laughs> it was so shit. So I don't really order Starbucks anymore in the morning. I have my espresso machine. I love making my espresso. So I went to Starbucks. I was like, you know what? I'm not feeling it. Let me just run to Starbucks before work. I was already running a little late because I didn't feel good. And I ordered two, two shots of espresso over ice with a splash. Emphasis on a splash of cream. Those are the vibes. This shit was third, 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 fourth full of, of cream. Mm-hmm. I said, this is fucking milk. Mm-hmm. And sure enough, I didn't drink it. I had a few sips and I was like, nope, this is milk with coffee flavor in it. And that was that. Um, what kind of milk did you, you do? Little... Say it again. What kind of milk? Half and half cream. Oh, okay. Cream. Um, it depends on my on my on my coffees. I'll use cream at home. I use regular milk. Um, if I'm getting like a matcha, I, have I told you about my matcha kick that I'm on now? My matcha latte. No. Oh, I gotta put you on. Do you Although, get like, it from Starbucks? Starbucks? With the with the customizations though, it's like nine dollars a drink. <laughs> It's insane. It's fucking nuts, but it's so good. Um, I so need that's to the one you can save for two matcha. Stars. I don't know how I feel. Got it. Matcha tastes like dirt, like actual earth. Um, so that's why I have to put flavors in it. Mm. I put vanilla. The strawberry cold foam is the secret. Mm. If you don't know. No, and then know. I'll use oat milk in the matcha. Okay. But um, to backtrack a little, I told you that I had things I had to, to discuss and bring up. Yes. Things that have been annoying me and last night when i was going out with my bestie one of her work friends who knows me she has become friendly with me because we go out the three of us she also requested my presence and i was like all right if if she wants me there like fine okay you gotta show and exactly (laughs) like all right the people want me there i have to make people happy she was like there's a, a dress code we're doing we're doing like a little dress up they wanted me to wear a flannel shirt. I said, sweetheart, it's August. I said, flannel season has not begun. Mm-mm. I said, no, that's like, call the call Joan Rivers in the fashion grave, fashion police. police. <laughs> don't you dare. Don't you dare wear flannel in August. And that made me think this morning, we are getting too premature with the fall celebrations. Like mm-hmm. pumpkin is already back at Starbucks. You know, I texted you about that. Too soon. Pump the fucking brakes. <laughs> Wait until September. <laughs> Labor Day comes and goes. Take it. Have it. Don't ruin the end of my summer. Because mm-hmm. now I'm just angry. Well, I've and been sure I, enough, I've been kind of low-key into the summer ween thing that's happening. I feel like that's a new concept. No. Get rid of it all. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. It gets me so angry. Listen, I love the fall. I've become one of those fall basic bitches. Take me to the pumpkin patch. I want the apple cider donuts. But let Summer have her moment. Mm-hmm. She's only here for a second. Literally. Relax. Mm-hmm. Michael's has Halloween shit after 4th of July. And Marshall's. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. I saw someone post about Christmas already. I'm like, holy shit. Holy shit. Y'all need to relax. <laughs> so fall, fall starting way too early. <laughs> Everyone needs to fucking chill. It'll be here. Don't fucking rush it. Because then guess what? After fall is winter. And then you're all like, I miss summer. I miss summer. And I'm like, shut up because you fucking wanted this. I didn't. Mm -hmm. I didn't. You can tell how I feel about that. (laughs) And also this morning, another thing that pissed me the fuck off. I have gotten so over my phone. I'm ready to throw the phone into the fucking ocean. I'm over the phone. You're close enough. You know what happened a week or two ago with us. And just the phone is drama it is trouble it is superficial i hate i hate my cell phone i really do i don't fucking want to do this anymore Mm -hmm. and this morning i'm driving into my parking lot at work we're in like a big shopping center and mind you boomers already have their heads up their fucking ass (laughs) okay i feel like fucking hrh collection (laughs) go off i'm on a fucking rage right now i need to vent this is built up for two weeks but boomers already have their head up their fucking ass and this lady's like walking across the street on her cell phone. I'm like, you're in an active driving zone. Like, this is a parking lot with a shit ton of cars, and you're just duh, duh, duh. get your fucking head out of your ass. Like, everyone needs to get off their phone if you're walking in the street. Mm-hmm. Like, it gets me so yeah, angry. That's dumb. And you know what? Not that I want to run anyone over, but if I did, it's your fault. It's your fault. Get off your phone. Mm-hmm. And when I was in LA. I was in my my friend's apartment. She has like a rooftop pool. Real nice, real real good vibes. Everyone in the pool on their cell phone. Of I'm course. like, none of y'all are enjoying this beautiful 
day we're having it was like 100 degrees it was balls hot and like i understand like checking it real quick but like to be in the pool with your phone with you that's crazy and people are just too chronically on their phone you're something else (laughs) whenever i say something and it applies to you i don't mean it to you you're special (laughs) are you thinking of my live stream (laughs) that's different though that's different Uh like i'm like do you need to be scrolling on instagram on in the pool Mm -mm. no get off the phone Mm -hmm. so i've been i've been conscious of that and i've really been trying to just stay off the phone because i i fucking hate it at this point i can't do it i hate it and i i don't like social media i i just can't do it i can't do it i feel that (laughs) and scene i'm like um so i mean i guess in the last episode i kind of said you went off to LA so a a little recap it was all nice LA vibes I had a fun time yeah Mm -hmm. I hate LA kind of but like it was fine it was fine I just hate how expensive everything is is like is that everything though now no because when I go to a coffee shop here I can get two coffees for less than 15 dollars in LA they're almost 20 Mm -hmm. like that's crazy Mm -hmm. I'll never forget a few LA visits ago we went to the juice store, and my friend got a juice. I got a smoothie. And the man said, $27. I said, huh? Two seven twenty seven? He said, yep. I didn't get anything special. I got a, like a, a strawberry banana smoothie. I don't get fancy with the smoothies. Mm-hmm. And she got like a cold-pressed juice, whatever the fuck that is. Mm-hmm. But nothing fancy, $27. Wow. Like, things are just so expensive there. Mm-hmm. And rent is crazy. Everything's crazy there homeless junk boxes everywhere it's it's not my vibe it's it's beautiful when you like remove all of that you know surface super superficial stuff but yeah i feel like I i'm over it as well which is crazy yeah i can't get past it everyone is fake as fuck we were in the elevator going up to the apartment from the parking garage and there's just these kids have to be fucking 21 years old this one kid goes to his friend he goes bro my tiktok is blowing up my shit's doing numbers i got mad followers racks on racks on racks and like you know when someone is saying something out loud to try to impress the person in the room i i just wanted to roll my eyes and be like that's 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 giving la (laughs) oh and it's like i thought it was a joke until i went there and i see it Mm -hmm. like people are actually setting up tripods and making tiktoks in public Mm mm-hmm and, like, good for you, because I'm sure this kid does make fucking racks on racks on racks from TikTok. But, like, keep that to yourself. Don't say it out loud. You should be embarrassed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's, 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 holy shit. That's all I have to, holy shit. Like, <laughs> L.A. really feels like a fucking dystopian world. It's, it's crazy. Like, I'm talking L.A., Hollywood, West Hollywood, Beverly Hills, like, different fucking world Mm -hmm. when you travel outside and you go a little like to the valley they call it Mm -hmm. that's That's probably where i would would love to live if i was there even though shacks are like you know a fucking shack house is a million dollars for like a a less than 1000 square foot home million dollars but yeah whatever i have no i'm not moving there so i don't i don't care right right but la was good i i like it i just i always miss home when i leave home I, I appreciate my little Staten Island home when I'm when I'm gone. Oh, like that, that first either. shower you take after a vacation in your own shower, it hits so good. And it when hits and so when you good. hit the bed, obviously, right? Oh, the bed, <laughs> the shower, it's all great. And I have like one of those really fancy showers. I have two shower heads. Ooh. I'm bougie. I'm spoiled. Mm. I'm spoiled. So I just miss it. I miss my home. I miss my stuff. Like, I just wanted to, like, play my PlayStation when I was away. And I was like, I don't have that. I can't do that. Mm-hmm. So I, I I love being home. The older I'm getting, the more I'm becoming, like, a homebody. Like, this is my house. And I just want to, like, hug my pillows. And be cozy. <laughs> and be cozy. And, like, just, like, lay in the sun if I want to in my own yard. Like, there is no privacy in L.A. Mm-hmm. There's just people everywhere. Like, you can go on your balcony, but there you look to your right and everyone else is on their balcony, too. Mm-hmm. You know? Like, you're not... You don't have that little privacy. Whereas, right. like, in my, in my yard, like, there's some privacy. Not only your yard, you're so isolated, so nice. Oh, like yeah. You're, like, you're... I'm, I'm in the middle the of... The lower basically. half of... Well, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm basically in my own world out here. Mm-hmm. I love that So, I love it. 
Mm-hmm. It's I don't think you can find a place like this in Los Angeles where you can go and like there's no one else around you. Uh huh. So, um, I appreciate it and I miss. Her I'm, I'm happy going. to announce for those listening in real time, not for us, yes, but Mercury is officially out of retrograde. In, while oh, you're listening God. to it, though, so we're yes, still in it. Not for we us still yet. have we're to still struggle. It. I can't believe how this Mercury hit us. Like, <laughs> Billy, this isn't a shitstorm for us. This has been a the, fucking shitstorm. And, like, like oh not that I don't believe in this stuff, but I really do. Like, when you reflect back, you're like, oh, this, this retrograded this, hard. Yeah, like, I can't even believe it. I mean, my freaking dog was day one with. Yeah. My dog was really was sick. Was that like the first day? Like it, the actual it literally day? was the first or second, but it's just, it spiraled out of control. Literally. I mean, we've gone through, we've gone through some personal off pod stuff, not us, but. Yeah, um, but we were involved in stuff, some drama. Just, I really, I can't wait for it to be done. Um, I opened up the last podcast mentioning I had a date. My date was so great, guys. <laughs> I had such a good time. We made out while the sun sat behind us. <laughs> JK got fucking ghosted, basically. I mean, I did get ghosted. I still think he's a catfish. I know you vetted him in his Instagram, but the like, reason I don't know. why I don't think mainly... Like a mutual person follows him, but how do how do you know that they know that this person's real too? He could also got true, true. But I mean, it's just the lack of like answers mm-hmm. from the messages you showed me. Like something about it was off, or he's just a fuck boy and like had no intention on ever meeting with you. Yeah, I guess it's. I've definitely fuck you. I'm not gonna say your name. I was gonna say his name. <laughs> you know what? Fuck you, Jeff. Jeff. Fuck, fuck you, Jeff. Jeff. <laughs> fuck you, Jeff. <laughs> Uh, I, like grown men ghosting people. What the fuck are you doing? I what mean, the fuck are yeah, you doing? Yeah, to Grow look back up. to like, there was nothing really grown about that conversation. No, but again, <laughs> lessons Get off learned. Get the dating apps, Billy. Get I, off the dating apps. I honestly, this few. I feel like this almost fueled me more to be on it. <laughs> In what sick twisted world? <laughs> well, now it's just like I mean, true, but. It's just like it's truly the only way I feel like I can meet someone, and now it's just like I wanna find someone. <laughs> oh, no, I know no. that's so terrible. I it's mean, a scary I, place. I rule number one: get the fuck off the app immediately. I should have gotten his. Now, I mean, it is what it is. Like fuck him, but like I should have gotten his number like within the first twenty four hours, and this whole thing could have been accelerated. Yes, but also, like, he is a grown ass man. He could have done the same and also just, like, responded in a timely manner. Like, I feel like if he was responding in a in a fashionably appropriate time, mm-hmm. you could have conversated on there and then you would have gotten his number, I'm sure, and you would have set something up. But, like, why are you dragging your feet? And, mm-hmm. like, why are you liking me if you have no intention on meeting me? And we That's matched on can't. two Dude. different dating apps. And on Tinder, so he wrote that he was a big texter. Oh, so he's just a fucking asshole. This is a very explicit episode for me. My mouth is <laughs> wild. I don't like Chikas ever, but sometimes it just comes out. Sometimes it be like rat. that. Yeah, literally. I really Tell like. I've been seeing so many. I've been seeing so many of her videos on on my TikTok, and just like, how does one person have so much rage? It's iconic because she's you're fucking truly... ugly, and you're dumb. <laughs> Uh, I, I wish, honestly. But, like, she says what we all think, mm-hmm. but we're just too afraid to say, mm-hmm. you know? That's actually, it's truly iconic to just say whatever you have on your mind. Like, that's, like... You know what? It it bites you. It comes back to bite you. And, and, I mean, and as we saw in our own lives, uh, I miss Blabbermouth. And you know what? Like, I don't know if you've ever gone through this, but... In the past few weeks, I don't want to say I was, like, gossiping, but, like, I was I was gossiping a little bit too much. And there, I had a moment where I was like, this is going to bite me in the ass. Mm-hmm. I feel this is going to just, you know, come back in my face. And it did. Of course it did. And the day we, we went through all of our, our stuff, I thought about taking a vow of silence. <laughs> 
like I never wanted to speak again. I, I mean, to it sister. did, but look at where, like, everything... Everything always sorts itself out. Yeah. But, like, going through it was miserable. And, like, I Mercury, was, like, Jesus. I was telling my sister. And, like, I was half serious. But I was, like, I'm I'm done with this podcast. I'm done with everything. Like, I don't want to do any... I don't want to speak anymore. Mm-hmm. And she was, like, no, you have such a gift. Like, it's a it's a gift and a curse, though. Like, you know, like, mm-hmm. I I can influence so many people with my voice, but... When I run my mouth too much, it gets me in trouble. Lessons were learned. (laughs) Lessons were 100% learned, and I will do better. I will not be Miss Flappy. But, like, we're we're never going to be in that situation again. Like, it's, it's, it was just a mess. Like, it was just dumb. Like, so, I mean, yeah. I know. (laughs) Like, everyone needs to hit the metaphorical blunt and be like, yo, it's not that serious. Speaking of that. (laughs) <gasps> oh updates guys i'm 22 days and no weed love that i um, actually have been meaning to ask you how you've been doing with that but i i just well my life has been a whirlwind no i mean i i've pers i've purposely not been like usually i would like be on you about that like saying everything mm-hmm. but like i guess i have been kind of saving it for like the podcast but then also like so many other stuff's been happening too um yeah so I've been doing very good with it, but I, after being ghosted, like, I mean, we all know when I saw the boy hitting the blend on the beach, yeah. <laughs> that was the last time I, that's why I got weed. <laughs> um, so, I mean, I stood strong, but like, it's like weird because I am like past the like, oh, like I want weed, but mm-hmm. like I do want something. And I, know, I feel you but like for what that's what i tell myself too i'm like i need something but like you don't like you literally don't i guess like I, i'm still like learning that like that's like the biggest like takeaway maybe so i turned to, te- to te- <laughs> so i turned to tequila <laughs> but i'm kidding oh my god billy's been slamming tequila shot. <laughs> but i'm kidding um From one vice to another no i mean it's only been like I only had two tequila no, nights. I in... I'm not. I'm, I don't think that you've been like drinking heavily. Yeah, no, no, no. I mean, I had eight shots of tequila the first time, <laughs> and oh, that yeah. was beyond. And then I don't know. Was it yesterday or two days ago? I brought it down to five. <laughs> Do you like at least use a lime or something? No, you oh, have Pringles. I have Billy Chase lime and a Pringle. Shot of Pringles. It's. It's, Lime and a Pringle. I highly suggest. And it doesn't have to be oh, tequila, no, anything. <laughs> um, no, thanks. But, I mean, no, I'm not going to be, like, a t- crazy, like, tequila person. But, like, is there anything we can do? You know, so after um our whirlwind of a shitstorm last week, I felt the need to go get a vape. I was like, you know what? I'm going to I it. was just going, to, going to say, sorry hold that thought like i was literally just about to say like this would be the perfect time to like have a vape or something but Mm -hmm. i'm like 27 days sober of a vape no so i have both of them on my app not that i was ever a vapor but like i just like was sick of like hitting people's vapes and i've got sick from vapes multiple times like it just doesn't Mm -hmm. it doesn't work with me um yeah but like I just like, is there any kind of healthy buzz? No, there's not. That's when people start working out and running. Oh, people start being runners. That's what I, I my addiction needs to be working out. And that mm-hmm. I think is Me acceptable. <laughs> and like, that's hard. <laughs> I know, but. But no, I understand because like that's I kind of want to throw myself into that, too, because I feel like I need something mm-hmm. to fill the void. I've honestly just been playing video games more than I like to admit because I'm like, I just, I need to do something. What game? Just baseball. Oh, And right. football. I'm a sporty girl. You told yeah. me that. Nothing fun. Not mm-hmm. like Call of Duty, Grand Theft Auto. Tomb Raider. Sports. Go sports. Mm-hmm. Um, do you... Oh, no, that's the Wii. <laughs> oh, no. I was like, do you like swing and stuff? But it's not like that, right? Oh, no. Oh, I miss the Wii. <laughs> the Wii was my favorite favorite system you obviously bowling, played the baseball we am assuming i played all of it, all of it but i think bowling was the best one 
I think I even played bowling that. Bowling was the best. You had everyone played Wii Bowling. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I w- everyone. Yeah. I was never a Wii Wii, but I definitely played that. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. Um, but no, I was saying before with the nicotine vape, I wanted to go get a vape. So you're a vapor. I got it. No. So here's <laughs> my story. I got it. I had it for a little bit over a week. And normally, like, I don't vape ever. Like, I know it's bad for me. And, like, you, we have this t- conversation, like, it kills my chest. Mm-hmm. And I usually just get it for vacations. So I was going to probably get one anyway when I was going away. But I was going through it. And I was like, I need a fucking vape. So I got a vape. And the past few days, I still had it. And the past few days, I've been, like, getting stomach aches. And I'm like, it has to be from the vape. Because anytime I hit the, the vape, my stomach would start hurting. Mm-hmm. And I feel like the juices seep into your stomach definitely and yesterday when i was at the marina cafe i had hit it once and i got like the juice in my mouth and i was like ew 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 ew. and i was like i'm gonna throw this out like i'm not even gonna finish this because i usually am like okay after this i'm done yeah i pulled up to my to my house and there's like a public garbage can at the end of the block and i just fucking chucked it and i was like i'm done i can't do this like Mm -hmm. stomach aches headaches it's just not good for Mm -hmm. you it's not good for you at all like I feel like I smoked a pack a day. I'm really proud of myself, actually, because my cousin came and dropped his vape on the couch, and I was like, to to like sp- mm. all, focused in on it. I was like, oh no, and then I was like, no, like I can't do it, and it's literally been sitting on the freaking table. Oh like, my god, it's still I'm being there. strong. You haven't hit it? No, I Can swear, I swear. And like I didn't I'm proud of you. I didn't even think about well, I thought about it <laughs> a few times, but like especially like Daniel hit it. I was like, "Oh my god." But like I I swear like I've been so strong about it. And like I just if I'm hitting something, it's fucking weed. And I'm not hitting yeah, weed. Sure. So. Yeah. So yeah. This sucks. Everything sucks. I know. I th- I think, like, unfortunately, the true key is we need a workout addiction. Yeah. <laughs> and I want to get into it, but my knees hurt. Ugh. My knees hurt. Or start, like, walking again. I mean, I guess that doesn't help I, I've been getting better with it, just not, like, super long walks. Mm-hmm. Um. So, yeah, I, I need to start walking. It's going to get nicer out again, but I would ultimately Oh, like hasn't walking. there been a cold front? There was, and now, huh, once I got back into town, it's hot as fuck. You know, me. Got it. <laughs> but, um, I cannot it's wait getting, for like, it chilly at night. Okay. I love the idea of, like, you know, like, the hoodies and the shorts, but mm-hmm. I love the summer so much. I love the summer. And, like, then it's getting darker earlier. Like, the sunset tonight is going to be at 740, like... Every day is a little earlier. Yesterday was like 7.43. And I'm just like, no, stay forever. (laughs) I guess like I would feel you more. But the fact that I live in Florida, like, okay. (laughs) Your winters are perfect. I know. Humidity here has been wild. So annoying. Also, we haven't said this yet, but me and Billy were unintentionally matching. Oh, my God. Yeah. (laughs) We caught on camera. We were like, like the (laughs) Spider-Man meme. (laughs) Uh, we we, we like actually might. Sure. Oh no, that wasn't on the. I thought we videoed that, but we were. No, we it. didn't. We didn't have the camera on. We literally mm-hmm. just like turned on FaceTime. But I'm repping my brand, Project Nine, because I wore this to work today, and like I said, I did not get changed. It's so, like looking like a mess. I'm trying to see what I wrote down. Oh, I just randomly wrote. I feel like we experience a lot of the same emotions, but. I feel like we're always kind of opposite. You woke up so angry today, and I was like, I got up at 6.40. I was like, living <laughs> oh, life. I saw you were up so early. I'm like, what the hell is this crazy bitch doing up so early? Since not smoking, like, sleeping has been very annoying. I will say that. I've been having oh. these vivid, crazy dreams. Last Are they, like, night, scary dreams? Yeah, actually. That happened to me. That happened to uh, me. Like, I feel like this too shall pass. It but, will, like, yeah. I'm fighting villains. I'm looking for dead yeah. people. Like, yeah. Well, also um, stop watching Buffy. <laughs> it was a Buffy villain. <laughs> that that was. Oh my god. That'll help you stop watching. And it was Buffy my favorite that. one. <laughs> stop. <laughs> do you do you like normally have dreams? Like, do you remember your dreams? Usually not. Because like, I. 
have always, for as long as I remember, have very vivid dreams, but they're really fun where I wake up and I'm like, wait, did that happen? Because that was like really real. No, like I'm, I hang out with like enough. Justin Bieber in my dreams. Oh, like we, we hang out I together. Wish. Kylie Jenner, we picked her up in the back of Oh my of God, Lamborghini. Jack Blues Bieber. Can you believe that? I'm so I'm sick, actually even though so, I'm a lesbian and he's married. And I'm so happy it. that it's Jack. Like that's just normal and cute. Normal normal like they didn't I think his do bro- his little brother his half little brother his name is jackson so it's interesting oh. that he went with jack that's yeah that's weird but his little brother is like j-a-x-o-s-o-n yeah j-a-x-s-o-n no that's weird but jack is jack i feel is like i feel like they might like call him blues or blue or whatever why? his name was but why blues is know. in the fucking p- the pills like come on you're taking blues like oh right <laughs> Like, I didn't even on. think of that. Mm-hmm. That's what I immediately thought of. I, I silly. I feel like they're gonna call him. Mm. Oh yeah. So I don't know if I finished my thought about yesterday. I texted you that I was like depressed after you were going on and on about happy how happy you were, and I, like, I love that so for you. Good. And then this morning it was literally the opposite. I'm like, this always happens. Yeah. Um, I'm hoping once Mercury's out of Capri Sun, we'll be better. <sighs> For reals. I just need my emotions to be regulated. I wrote down I've been feeling inspired lately to do more, but I just don't know for what. <laughs> that I mean, was that's good, point. I guess. I have a vlog. I don't know. i just been feeling kind of motivated, but I guess this fucking ghost kind of ruined me. So, like, I, I was... It was, like, not even a week of your life. I know. I it just off. Fuck you, Jeff. Off, it sent me off beat, <laughs> I guess. But like, I'm really not depressed about it in the way that I have been in the bath past, yeah. like doing love spells and shit. Stop. At least be Actually, no, that's a lie. I did the love spell, and then I met the guy, and then I got ghosted. <sighs> Stop. Okay. And I thought he was the one. Stop. Stop. <laughs> I mean, but that's my problem too. Like, I think way too far ahead. Because we're just like hopeless but, romantics, but like we want to see the good in everyone. Why wouldn't you? Yeah, like if you're, but if you're like on an app and like trying to find a relationship, like why wouldn't you assume? And this it could also be the one? pisses me off. Like I've been on apps for the, the apps for so long. Like the fact that this guy's took like so long to like respond and stuff. It's like who else are you talking to? Like I can't yeah. find one person, and on the app, like. It's like, I'm not like, it's like one out of a hundred I'm interested in. And then Mm -hmm. if we even match, it's like, how are these people, like, what are they doing? Yeah. They're just, (sighs) I don't think they're really, I feel like a lot of people look at it as like a game kind of, they're not looking for serious relationships. He said he's looking for a life partner. (laughs) In the fucking thing. Yeah. I mean, I've seen a lot of profiles where they say one thing and they're like, trying to smash you know like you just can't you have you been on a dating out? app i am um, hmm. i have you ever many went years on a ago, date from an app yes i met a girl i met i've met two girls in my life on on dating apps one i was in college can i which one like what app it wasn't an app. It was a website. Plenty of fish. Have you ever been on Plenty of Fish? <laughs> I'll cry. I want to throw up telling you this. Yo, story. You are you a young millennial or old? <laughs> um, I think I might have been nineteen. I met this girl. She was cute. I was in more of like my femme era. Like I wasn't really like too too tomboy in that time. Mm-hmm. And Billy, when I tell you, I'm five foot eight inches tall. I don't think this girl was five feet tall. And <laughs> it was it was something we had fun. I think we like went to a party with her. Was friends she like? We... Was she like kind of like butchy or something? No, she was a really pretty girl. Oh, okay. Um, we went on a few dates, like hung out. She worked in the city. I remember I met her in the city one day, and um, she just like wasn't really a lesbian. All these mm-hmm. girls, I need to put it out there. These girls need to stop testing me to see if they're gay or not because you're hurting my feelings. Yeah, and sure enough, I, I actually checked on her. Randomly, she came into my head a few a few months ago. She's engaged. I think she's married by now to a guy. With you know, a guy, right. 
Mm. Um, so both other, people were on Plenty girl, of Fish? What? Both people were from Plenty of Fish? No, 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 no. So the other, that was the only one. Okay. I, I got rid of it after that. The mm. other girl was from Tinder when Tinder was like relatively new-ish. It was right mm. after that my, my ex, ex-girlfriend like broke my heart into a million pieces. And I went on Tinder. I met this girl. Super hot. She's a Hooters girl. Hooters calendar girl. Oh, wow. Love her. Good times. And she, um, I can't believe I never told you about this one. She also lived in the city. So I remember I met up with her. I don't know if I like went to Hooters and like met her there. I don't remember like the first time we met. But I was really into her. We liked each other. And I would go to Hooters almost every night and just go sit at the bar and talk to her and then wait until she'd close the bar and like drive her home to her apartment. And we both were fresh out of a relationship that really broke our hearts. Mm. So we ended up just like being friends. We never mm. like did anything. Kind of trauma we... bond. Yeah, trauma bond. We had the same birthday, like both May 21st. She was like a really cool chick and we have stayed in touch over the years and now she's engaged to a man say, and I was just... pregnant. Oh my god! Damn. Stop! I almost tipped over when I saw that. I hope I hope none of these girls <laughs> listen to my podcast or maybe do it. Whatever. I have all, love for all of you, but like, <laughs> I'm like, damn, no, like, no joke, Bill. I think every girl I've been with, besides like my first, 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 first girlfriend, they they're all with men now. They're all with men. And it's like, what? What it's do very, I do? Maybe it's, it's maybe very, I'm the problem. It's a very common theme unfortunately it's so annoying it's you're so not annoying. alone it's so annoying or it could but... be a gemini thing because danielle too <laughs> I, I i think at this point it might be me and like i'm over here thinking i'm innocent which like listen i know i'm not but maybe it's me and i'm just trying to like no it's i think i mean i think it's this them point, but like i mean yeah it's definitely them but <laughs> i'm i'm not looking for a serious relationship i was like thinking about this I just want to like have someone to chill with. Like I want to have someone who's like a little more than a friend. Be like, I hey. don't know if that exists. But why? Why can't people be fucking chill? <laughs> like, let's just fucking kick it and like do do cool shit together and like kiss each other from time to time. You know, like why? Like I won't. I, so the way I am, like I'm not trying to like date around and like be with five people at once. I don't have that mm-hmm. capacity. Who has the mm-hmm. fucking time? But like, mm-hmm. I'm not ready to like seriously commit time to someone else i guess it's kind of selfish where it's like okay when it's convenient for me i'll, I'll call you you mm-hmm. know but also like if it could be the other way also where like they they're bored and they want to hit me up yeah sure you know like just something chill like let's just mm-hmm. hang out i want to meet like a new cool person and like where the fuck are you where the, i'm gonna like me open on my the DMs. Other hand. if you like me send me a dm i'm sick of this <laughs> me i was just gonna say me on the other hand dm me immediately i'm ready <laughs> i just listen like I'm looking for friends. I'm looking for anyone. And you don't know what's going to come of a casual dating relationship. I mean, yeah. Ideally, it would be amazing to, like, have, like, a friend that, like, over time, like... And, like, I'm not even looking for, like, friends with benefits, you know? Like, just someone who we can, like... I guess, like, a little deeper than a friendship. Like, someone, like I said, who you're cool with. They're fun to hang out with. Someone who's, like, almost, like, forcibly made to, like, hang out with you. Like, hey come hang out with me because we are we like each other you know Mm -hmm. but like i don't want to do the whole like oh your family's having a party i have to go to your family's party (laughs) like oh we have to go to christmas at my mom's and then your mom's like i don't want to do all that right now like i'm just not it is almost cuffing season (laughs) it is and like now it's getting to the like to the point where it's like it's cutting it too close like if you start dating someone now like Thanksgiving might be too soon, you know. Mm. Like, I don't think this holiday season <laughs> is is gonna make the break. So, but mm. like, I just I want someone to go to the pumpkin patch with me. So please, if you want to go to the pumpkin patch, take some cute pictures. I'll wear my flannel. I ordered three hundred dollars worth of clothes on Abercrombie, which included some cropped flannels. I am jealous. Um, I did like Klarna paying for. I don't fucking have that right now, so I'll be paying fifty bucks the next you know eight weeks. Whatever works. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just like want to have someone who's like fun. And like my friends are all getting into relationships. Like my best friend, she's talking to a guy and like I'm happy for her. Like I want everyone to be happy. But like, what about me? What about mm-hmm. me? Mm-hmm. So I don't know. Yeah. I don't know how I feel. But like I'm I'm open to anything. You don't know where life's going to take you. So like a casual relationship could develop into something serious. Mm-hmm. But I guess time will tell. 
but people are fucking annoying. And I hate this whole Instagram game you have to play, send DM. Another thing, like, I feel like girls, no offense, <laughs> they're, like, not up to, to, like, my witty standards. <laughs> I'm not going to go into that. Um, but I am, like, so slick with, like, the pickup lines, like, the slide of the DMs. I'm I'm a seasoned veteran. And these girls don't get it. They don't get it. And they're like, haha, what? And I'm like, that was a solid line. And, like, you just whoosh, over your head. Ugh, I can't tell you nice. how many times. Mm-hmm. It's annoying. It's annoying. What I'm going to tell you hell? after the, the situation that I have right now, I have like a great line that I want to use on this person. And I'm worried she's going to be like, ha ha, what? And like, I don't want that. But I'm also just assuming she could mm-hmm. totally get it, you know? Mm-hmm. But it's so dumb. It's dumb. <sighs> You're fucking dumb. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking stupid. Uh, I know. I mean, I hate it here, but I don't. Hopefully, now that we're ruling out of Mercury in retrograde to bring it back, that's what I'm hoping will, for. Also, opportunities will start opening up. Things will start to feel lighter, and we're gonna go into September, and the vibes are gonna be cozy, oh, new fall, fresh start, happy yeah. holiday, mm-hmm. and seasonal depression. <laughs> Sad. No, Sad. I'm gonna go on no. another month long vacation to avoid that. <laughs> uh, yeah, start planning it. Also, um, I have to come and see you when I'm there in October. My sister, I know. yes, of course. My sister is expecting us to do a live episode, and she wants to be in the audience. <laughs> She's like, I want to be front row. I'm like, well, you'd be um, the only one there. I mean, she could be in it. <laughs> oh my god, she could be in it. She's your biggest fan. Also. I had people ask me because of our little filler episode last week, our 10 minute episode. Mm-hmm. I had mul- multiple people be like, 10 minutes, what the fuck? What the fuck is that? Oh about? my God. I'm like, I'm sorry. Love so that. the people were angry. They were angry. But like, love mm-hmm. that we have fans. Shout out to our three fans. <laughs> we probably have like six fans. Love your anger in this episode. <laughs> it's giving. Oh, it's giving. <laughs> it's giving too much. It's giving. We're, we're making up from the 10 minutes. You want more than 10 minutes? Here you go. Here you go. (laughs) What's the Taylor date? October 18th, 2024. Aris tour. Wow. I can't wait. I'm so excited. And like, I'm kind of nervous because have you seen, obviously you had to see clips from the concerts. People like are posting and everything. Some of these girls are screaming, but not like singing, but like, like, I don't know, like demons are coming out of them. And so help me God, from my mouth to God's ears, if I have any of that behavior around me, it's not happening. It's not happening. <laughs> you can have fun. You can sing. We're all going to sing and I'll scream a little bit. But like when you're just shouting and I can't hear the person I paid a lot of fucking money to come and listen to, we got a problem. We have a no problem. one's ruining my Taylor Swift concert. <sighs> so mm. yeah, we're getting down the concerts on Friday, October 18th. We're getting down Thursday morning super early. I think we land like 8 a.m. And I'm getting a car so I can drive around. And then we're going to drive to Disney World oh, that weekend. That's it. Yeah. Oh, nice. Nice. So. Okay. Well, we'll definitely obviously plan something. I want to meet your sister absolutely. and talk about Doctor Who. Oh, my God. Yes, please. <laughs> she she has no one to talk about Doctor Who with. So <laughs> Neither talk do away. I. Well, other talk than. Talk away. She mm-hmm. loves it bad. She. Mm-hmm. I think I told you she was like. Where is Billy's Doctor Who reactions? Where, oh where my are God. I? I? I took a little batching break, but I'm fully back every Friday. <laughs> okay, good, 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 mm-hmm. good. And I th- she commented on it. I think like yesterday. Love it, love it. Um, I love that we have fans. I feel so special. <laughs> Thank you to my fans. Thank you guys. We need you. <laughs> also, um, really random thing that came into my head that I forgot to tell you the other day. I was watching Sabrina the Teenage Witch love with love a vibe. So much. And... i just saw today that they're freaking doing a convention actually in 90s con but anyways oh, i'm jealous um but the episode i was watching britney spears was on it oh you sent that to me i know Did that's I? iconic and i just like mm-hmm. it came into my head like it was so iconic and like sabrina had a lot of celebrities on her show like, like the backstreet boys were on oh, her show shit. She had a lot of pop stars back in the day on, on Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Melissa uh, Joan Hart. What a fucking icon. Unproblematic queen. We, he, we heard nothing. 
nothing of I her. know one time she got a dildo pulled out on an airport at the airport. Stop. You're lying. No. <laughs> she, uh, the image uh, of her is tarnished <laughs> now for me. Sabrina. Um, her saying the story was great. <laughs> she was like cracking up. Oh my god. That <laughs> um, that changed my life forever. I wish I didn't know that. <laughs> Sorry. So I know I know the the fun facts. <laughs> yeah, you do. You you know too much. Another thing I wanted to touch on Chaperone. How do we feel about her? I'm heavily debating reacting to her stuff. Do it. Oh, do it, really? Do it, do it, do it. I love oh. her, but like in like a I'd... teeny bopper way, I love her. Oh, okay. I'm like H O T T. I'm doing. See, like thing. I've I've been staying like very separate and far purposely because I think it's a it's it's about that time that I do the you deep have to. dive. It's gonna pop off. Yeah. Most of, listen, like a lot of her stuff is. But good, I will say, but, like, the radio stuff is. No, I will say I'm not t- too crazy about the "Thank You, Babe" song or "Love You, Babe" song. Good luck, babe. Good luck, babe. I'm not saying it's that a bad one took song. a few listens for me to really start. To I'm enjoy. sure, like I would get more into it. Like it's not like I listen to the radio so I'm like hearing it all the time. Mm-hmm. But like I, I did add that one. I don't know. I'm I'm ready though to do a deep. And dive. like the the good luck, babe. Like you, once you listen to the lyrics and like you understand what it's about. Like yeah, I guess I didn't. She's I, a gay I don't icon. Know. She's a gay mm-hmm. icon. Let's just say that. I know it's time. But it's time. She recently posted TikToks. I don't know if you saw those where she was basically condemning people like who go up to her in public like she's like if you saw a a, a woman on the sidewalk who you didn't know would you go up to her and ask for a hug or a picture like you don't know me like chaperone is a character i play you know like she she Mm. views chaperone as something that's separate from her like it's an art you know it's a project i've been seeing like a lot of stuff about her like not liking the fame or like being uncomfortable with it i mean she blew up overnight interesting thing but it is like the price to pay. I mean, I don't know how I feel about that actually. Like Paris Hilton I'm, I'm, I'm will so never torn. turn down like, anyone. I I guess when artists are different. Like I feel like actors, actresses, like you kind of want the fame. I guess you want to do the art of acting, but like it, it comes with the fame. No, you know? I feel like that it would be switched. Like as a really? musician, you're putting you out there where an actor is playing other people. And like you don't also, want so like, as an actor. Chaperone, like I said, she feels like this is a persona. This is not her. This mm-hmm. is like a project where like an actress plays a character. She's playing a character so she's like, you don't know me. You, when you see me, you don't see Chaperone. Like, you see me, whatever her name mm. is. I forgot her name. But, you know, that's... Uh, when she puts it that way, I kind of get it. But, no, like... I, t- I definitely get No it, one thinks that like, deep. You know? Like, no one's that intellectual here. It also so, just depends if a fan is, like, a disrespectful, like, fan or, like, you're doing too much. Like, that's one thing. But if it's appropriate and, like, nice, that's another. So it really, I mean... Yes. There's there's a way it's to go like about people it. should read the room too. I I definitely blame those negative interactions on them than her, but like sure. well people think they're gotta, entitled to something once you're famous. Yeah. It's like you owe me something. I'm your fan. You mm-hmm. owe me everything. I you're only here because of me, which like yes, but also no. Respectfully, no. Uh huh. Like I'm a human being it. still. So I just wanted your take on that. But yes, listen to Chaperone. Love, love her song. It's very <laughs> poppy, like girly pop, like fun. Uh-huh. Listen in the car. Mm-hmm. Go for it. Yeah, my lesbian singer right now has been Peach PCR. I'll have to send you a couple songs. Where do you find these people? <laughs> Where the fuck do you find these people? Yeah, I don't know. She God is a freak. Great song. <laughs> Never heard of it, but I'll give it a listen for you. Mm, do it. Okay, I think I need to go take a nap. Yeah, so we can I definitely I wrap. Wrap it on up. I need to collapse. My couch is calling my name. Oh, that's going to be so nice for you. Oh, I can't <laughs> wait. I think I might even take a nice shower right now because I'm a dirtbag from yesterday. Shower. And just vibe. Get in the comfy jammies and just chill on the couch all night. Perfect. I think we're doing that. I'm going to have okay. some. Do you like seafood? No. Not, I'm about not to have really. some. Linguini and clam sauce. 
and clams. I like baked clams, but I've never that... had like a clam sauce. If you like baked clams, you'd probably like it. Maybe not the actual clam, but I think you would maybe like the juice of the sauce the, of the, the macaroni. Yeah, the flavor. Yeah. I like shrimp. I like baked clams. When I was in Hawaii, I tried ahi tuna for the first time, and it was one of the most delicious things I've ever had in my life. I like tuna. Tuna is very, like, it's, like, steaky. And then, like, it was then probably flaky. just caught in the ocean right in front of the restaurant I was in. Like, I mean, I saw people in Hawaii who were, like, spearfishing. in Hawaii just would probably be so much better. Uh, I need to go back to Hawaii yesterday. <sighs> it is a dream. Oh, I, I love it imagine. so much. I have to go. You have to. Let's plan a trip. Young Millennials trip. We'll drop oh a God. GoFundMe link. Fund our yes. trip to Hawaii. Oh, All right, yeah. guys. Thank you so Don't much for dinner. listening. Yes, thank um, you. We're going to go chill. I hope you guys have a great day, night, whenever you're listening. Weekend, mm-hmm. Wednesday, Thursday. <laughs> I hope and you, you know, enjoy this almost hour-long episode. You ingrates. Yes. We 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 fed the girlies and the gays and yes. the young millennial bitches. So. And we're gonna get back on track. Like now that it's it's fall, my schedule is definitely chilling out. Like I'm not trying to like do nine thousand things. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna we're coming and swinging. Yes. Buckle up, right. bitches. Bye. T T Y L. Love and light. Peace. Love and light. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand you. <laughs>